Technology. It came at every step of the way. If you'll pardon the pun, one of the technological solutions was a gem of an idea. Before the advent of diamond wire technology, quarriers went from compressed air drilling, using wedges and shims for breakout, to jet burning, L blasting, and using drifters and specialized explosives to get the stone out of the ground. Diamond wire technology, using motors and pulleys, has revolutionized quarrying techniques. Carlos Goad is Vice President of North Carolina Granite, which operates the world's largest open-face granite quarry in Mount Airy, North Carolina. A diamond wire has a central steel woven core. Then there are diamond beads. The diamond beads are about uh, a quarter of an inch diameter, and they're about a quarter to three-eighths of an inch long. They are inserted on that uh, steel core. You hook that to a machine that rotates the diamond wire and then either slowly pulls it or pushes it down through the stone with those diamond beads doing all the cutting. Quarry design has gone from derricks and stiff legs to a drive-in format, using massive front-end loaders to pick up the blocks. All of these developments, also employing diamond technology, quadrupled the cubic feet produced per man-hour. This affordable quarrying technology made it possible to get stone out of quarries that at one time were determined unaccessible by earlier methods. It eventually resulted in the explosive growth of the business in countries, which then began to quarry and export stone. Diamond wire technology was also introduced into the slabbing process. This drastically reduced from days to hours the time it took to cut a 45,000 pound block of granite or other stone into slabs. Goad, a 40-year industry veteran, says that with the old gang saws, they would get feed rates of three quarters of an inch per hour. This meant it could take two to three days to slab a granite block. The multi-wire diamond technology, we have a machine that can put the maximum of 20 strands of wire on the one machine, then we can get uh, 23 quarters of an inch thick slabs from that machine. The diamond technology allows us to down feed saw at the rate of about 12 to 14 inches per hour versus the old three quarters of an inch for the gang saws. The new technology has allowed companies like North Carolina Granite to become a lot more efficient. When I first came here, we had approximately 250, 275 employees. Today, we have 130 employees. Uh, we're actually producing more in volume today with fewer employees. Kerry Stapleton, general manager of Independent Limestone Company in Bloomington, Indiana, has been in the stone business for 40 years. Well, in the quarry business, the quarrying was done with wires. It was done with what we call channel machines which were started out being steam powered and ended up being electric, of course. And they were very slow, took a long time. Um, the wire saws were better, but very dangerous. And then handling was also a big change that's happened. We used to have the big tall derricks. Those don't exist anymore. We don't use derricks, we use big front end loaders. And the way we quarry stone now is with these quarry saws that look like big chainsaws with diamond segmented cable reinforced belts that go around a chain. They look like a chainsaw blade. And it has made a huge difference in quarrying, able to quarry much more with the same number of people. Robert Campo, Vice President of Rock of Ages Corporation in Barrie, Vermont, says today's sawing and cutting technology is light years ahead of methods used in the past. They had it tough back then. We got it easy now. Now we saw everything like butter. The new sawing technology is amazing. It's helped us to reduce our costs to remain competitive in the market. Stapleton said the use of computer-assisted technology has also advanced the industry. And you can literally program what you want the stone to look like on your computer. Send it to the saw, and the piece of stone will be laying on the bed and this profiler will cut that piece of stone. 
I mean, you're just watching it. You're not cutting it anymore. The bottom line, advanced technology has drastically reduced the price of stone. It's probably a quarter of what it was, say, back in the 60s and 70s.